Calabrese. Inspiration with Gina Calabrese, and Gina's going to share a very inspirational story as she does every week. Gina Calabrese. Thank you very much, Howie. And just kind of jumping off of what Jamie said about, you know, the thinking and, you know, when we hit rock bottom in our life, and it could be in any aspect of our life, whatever it is, sometimes it's, it could be really difficult, you know, but if we make, make up our minds and say, I can, rather than I can't, and then we seek help, we can often dig ourselves out of those, those places where we may find ourselves in life. Um, this story is about a little girl who um, was born with no legs. And when she was born, she was actually abandoned by her parents. She was left in the hospital because she had no legs. So this girl had no family. And, um, the family, the, the Bricker family in Illinois heard about this little girl and they decided to adopt her. So they took her back to um, a, a small little town and, um, in Chicago and they raised her along with their three, they had already had three boys that they were raising. And what they told this little girl, Jennifer, that's what they named her, um, they told her that um, the one rule that they have in their house is never say, I can't. So she took that attitude, and with that attitude, what she started to do is she started to get into like gymnastics. And um, she actually idolized um, this Dominic Mociano, who is an Olympic gold medalist. She used to watch her on TV, and that, really, that girl, Dominique, became her, her idol and her inspiration. So Jennifer would, like I said, Jennifer would watch her on TV and just was totally motivated by this Dominique Mociano. So Jennifer just continued with that not, you know, that, that I can attitude, not putting that limit of I can't just because I have no legs, I can't. She said I can and she did and she ended up becoming like the tumbling champion in Illinois. She played on a softball team and a basketball team and she just said I can to life. When Jennifer turned around 16, um, 16 years old, she went to her mom and she said, you know, I, I need to speak to you. I want to know about my, my biological parents. I want to know about my, uh, my family. And the mom said, Jennifer, you need to sit down. And Jennifer said, Mom, I'm always sitting down. Maybe you need to sit down. So um, the mother sat her down and said, listen, I have to tell you that your biological, your last name is Mociano. And so the whole time that she was idolizing Dominic Mociano, that was her sister, her biological sister, that was inspiring her and motivating her without her even knowing it. You know, and I just, um, when I heard that story, I actually started to cry. You know, I've told it a couple of times, you know, once to my mom, who, hi mom, I love you, I know you're listening. Um, I've told it a couple of times, and every time I get the goosebumps, you know, it's just, I see the hand of God in that. You know, there's no such thing as coincidence, and it's just truly amazing. But. You know, Jennifer really went by what her parents instilled in her, which is, don't say I can't, you know, it's I can't, you know, and it just, it, it just reminds us that, you know, we often put limits on ourselves, to, we do that to ourselves, we limit ourselves by just saying, I can't. Um, so, you know, when you hear speakers, uh, motivational speakers and spiritual speakers, a lot of them say, like, they suggest taking I can't out of your vocabulary and shouldn't. Because a lot of times, or should or shouldn't, a lot of times we use those words and they're words that automatically kind of put a negative spin on what we're doing. Like we're already telling ourselves um, that we're wrong for doing what we, we're doing. What, we're, what we are doing is not okay. You know, so I guess maybe just this week, if you can, just really pay attention to the words that you're speaking when, when you're speaking. And, and hear how many times, I mean hopefully you don't, but hear how many times you say, I can't do this, I can't do that, or I should be doing this, or I shouldn't be doing that. Just pay attention and try to switch those words around. You know, I can't, maybe it could be, I'll, I'll do my best. You know, and then just pay attention to the should and shouldn't. And uh, that's it, everything's exactly the way it's supposed yeah. to be. Right. Thank you. Great job, Gina Calabrese. All right, we're gonna take our second break, and after the break, I want to bring up Anna and uh, Mary Ellen, talk about New York Rising, and we've got Ethan coming up, and we've got Christopher Murdy, so we have a lot of great stuff. So keep it locked right here. I am Halftime Howie, coming to you live from Jimmy A's Steakhouse, right here in Island Park, on the first and oldest station in Long Island, AM 1240. 
WGBB.